What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. This is your review for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Season 11, Episode 2. So we start off, we have Erica. I believe this is where we started off. I think my DVR didn't quite pick it up at the beginning of the episode, but we have Erica talking to Sutton, and Sutton's talking about her new home and, you know, how it's giving her a sense of independence you know, by selling the old house, which was still sort of connected to her husband, and this is the first thing she's ever sort of done on her own, and so she sort of claimed, you know, claimed it or what have you, and they was that conversation. Then we had Garcelle meeting up with Kyle for lunch, and um, I feel like Kyle came in similar to Lisa with the whole you know, I tried to be your friend last year. Remember, I was really nice to you. Remember, I was really sweet to you. And then, I don't know. I just realized that you just never saw it for me. And I didn't understand why. And Garcelle was like, because, yes, you were very nice. You know, yes, you joked with me. But I don't feel like you ever heard me. I felt like I was not... That I was... My voice was invisible to you. Um... Then she brought up the incident. She said, and honestly, Kyle, I really didn't have no serious issue with you until the reunion. And I didn't appreciate you calling me out and making it seem like I don't pay my bills. She was like, would you have said that to one of the white women? And of course, Kyle's face was like, what? And Garcelle went on to explain, like, listen, as a black woman, I carry, I carry stereotypes with me. It's storming really bad here. Sorry, y'all. I, I carry stereotypes with me. I carry things on my back that you don't know, you don't see, and you don't understand. And so, for you to say on national TV that I don't pay my bills, that is that whole, oh, well, you know, black people don't pay their bills. Well, you know, black people don't tip. Well, you know, black people don't do this. And it seemed like there was some sort of mix-up, and Garcelle hadn't paid the money, but it wasn't, it sounded like there was an issue with the address or something. They were sending the information to the wrong address or something like that. But... And, you know, Kyle was like, and, I, and you immediately fixed it. But how about this? How about you could have you could have called her? You didn't have to. And I understand the reunion is messy and all of that. And Kyle was honest. She was like, hey, if me and you were getting along, I never would have even brought it up at the reunion. And that's honest. That's honest. And she she's right. Because if that had been Dorit or Lisa, somebody she was cool with, it's never a conversation. And Kyle was like, you know what? I appreciate you giving me that perspective because, honestly, it was never about for me, it was never a conscious black and white thing. It was, I'm going to jab her, and this is what I know I can jab her with. She said, but I do see what you're saying, and I understand how, I understand now the anger. Like, why you were as angry as you were. Because I'm sure, in her mind, it was just a jab that you throw out. Like, oh, you didn't pay that bill. <laughs> but Garcelle was like, I need you to understand how deep this is and you know she went on to talk about how in hollywood which first of all let me talk about that confessional look garcelle bitch can i have that wig that ombre into like the the lavender gray thing you had going can i have that wig it was so cute oh it was so cute and then the way you had it paired up with that top yes i was here for it anyway but she went on to talk about how in hollywood you know Her Hollywood friends are always quick to talk about where'd you get that bag from and where'd you get this from and where'd you get that from, but they never want to have the hard conversations. They never ask me how I'm doing and what my life is like and what my reality is like when it comes to being a black actress in Hollywood. Um, and so I thought it was a good conversation and I thought it was, um, I can appreciate that Gar, you know. It, I'm about to go down a rabbit hole. Let me stay here. I can appreciate that it was a good conversation. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I feel like Kyle walked away with a better understanding. I am thankful for Garcelle being honest about it and, and, and saying what needed to be said. Then we get a glimpse into Crystal's life. Okay, Crystal, um, she said, listen, I don't brag a lot about me, but I brag about my husband. And she was bragging about her husband, and I am here for it, okay? I ain't mad about it, and I am here for it. You better brag on your man. You better tell them who your man is and all the things that your man has done and all the places that y'all have traveled and how y'all have moved, been around the world, and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here for all of it, okay, Miss Crystal? I, listen, I like Crystal this episode. We're going to get to the reason why I like Crystal this episode at the end of this episode. But I like Crystal this episode. We're going to talk about it, okay? 
you know, this might be an episode by episode thing because she knew. I don't know her like that yet. But in this episode, Crystal, we was here. Um, she says she is a tiger mom and she hates to, you know, be the stereotype, but she is. It just is what it is, honey. It is what it is. Um, she's got two kids that are alive. She said she's trying not to raise them Hollywood, but she was like, I don't think it's working. At least you, uh, at least you honest with yourself about the fact that it might not be working, okay? Um, her brother is there with her. He's been living there for months because she said basically he lives in China, but hell, he's been stuck here because of COVID. But come to find out, he has a whole pop star over in Asia. But he's stuck here because of COVID, child. And she has, she said, I don't have a big staff. You know, I sort of have my um my right hand lucy and lucy was hilarious honey lucy be getting her together okay she got a pair of shoes delivered and lucy was like more shoes she was like how many feet do you have i said okay you better tell her lucy she was going through the closet she saw this dress she was like that's ugly <laughs> but we got a little you know she's the new girl so we had to sort of kind of get a glimpse into her her world so that was a cute little moment um and then we're getting ready to go to Lake Tahoe. Now, Lake Tahoe is a place I would love to go. I've never been to Lake Tahoe. I've been to Vegas a few times. I've been in the area of Lake Tahoe, but I have never been to Lake Tahoe, okay? So, I'm going to have to check it out. I want to go. Um, and before y'all put it in the comments, I know Vegas is not Lake Tahoe, but it's closer than where I am now. That's the point I'm making. See, somebody going to say it in the comments. That's why I have to say that. Um, and so, of course, they're, they're, you know, it's only an hour from L.A. in a plane. So, they're, you know, flying private when the little, but it's a smaller jet. The ladies show up. Of course, Lisa and Garcelle are there first. And Garcelle is like, Lord, I got to sit here and make small talk with Lisa ass. Ugh, okay. All right, girl. Then Kyle shows up. I said, damn, Garcelle, you could win for lo losing. You got Lisa on your left and, and Kyle on your right. But they showed up. And, of course, one by one, all the ladies show up. Listen. Y'all, Kathy Hilton is a whole situation. I, I, I'm i still not figured out yet. I still have not figured out yet, I should say. Kathy Hilton said, listen, I have never been on an all-girls trip, okay? You know, I've had friends that have had girls weekends and girls parties and this, this, and this. I'd rather just go with my husband. Um, all the ladies eventually show up and they get on the plane. Poor Garcelle, which they told us, she told us last year that that is her fear, is that she has a fear of small planes. She said it comes from, um, her time modeling. She had a lot of close calls on small planes. And that whole hour that they were on that plane, I don't know if Garcelle took a breath, honey. The look on her face showed just how terrified she was. Um, they land in um, Lake Tahoe, and they go to this, baby, that house is everything that they're in. It's like a 17-bedroom house. It's like, it's ridiculous. It is it is beautiful. It is right on the lake. It is a gorgeous house. It's got a bar, a, a movie theater, a indoor pool, sauna, hot tub. Listen, you name it, it's got it. It's 17 damn bedrooms. I mean, of course, it's got whatever, whatever else you think it needs, it has, okay? Um, it also has bears. Okay, when they were choosing their rooms, that man told them that there are rules if you're going to be on the first floor, on the ground level floor, that there are rules because the bears, baby Garcelle picked up her stuff so fast and ran upstairs to one of them bedrooms upstairs. She said, no ma'am, you ain't got to tell me twice. She said, you don't tell no black no black woman about no, no bears roaming. No ma'am, mm-mm, nope. And what I found interesting was that Kyle and her over-anxious ass Stay downstairs. Now, Kyle is scared of every damn thing. You ain't scared of a bear? Kyle, your ass is scared of every damn thing. You gonna stay on the first floor with the bears? It's 17 bedrooms. It's not like y'all fighting over a room. Ma'am, you have other options. I was shocked by that. I couldn't believe that Kyle did not move, but whatever, child. Then, because of COVID, they don't have all their normal amenities, so they had to actually carry their own luggage, honey, from the um, from the little car 
into the house, baby. All of them was complaining. All of them was complaining, including Garcelle. Talking about some no man, where's the butler? But I see that's the kind of thing you probably should have told them that on the front end that they wasn't gonna have no butler service because they might have changed how some of them packed. Cause y'all know that damn Dorit had about twenty suitcases. You know, she, she said, well, I've agreed to do my own glam, but I mean, I ain't know I was going to have to move my own suitcases. I said, see, girl. Then we got Kathy and Kyle having a moment. That damn Kathy talking about some her fan don't work. Kyle going to go over there because Kathy said she needs the humming of the fan. Um, so she has like an actual physical fan. Kathy, um, let me, maybe you don't know this, boo. Um. I get it, because I, I listen to the ocean. I listen to the waves crashing. It helps me sleep. Or thunderstorms. It helps me sleep. Sometimes when I can't sleep, it soothes me. I like it. So I understand you need that white noise. Girl, they got apps for that. You do not need to carry a whole fucking fan wherever you go. They have apps for that. Ma'am. They got YouTube channels for that. Then she talking about something the fan don't work. Kyle went over there and told my son, well, you have to plug it in. Girl, how you gonna say the fan didn't work and you hadn't even plugged the damn fan in? What is wrong with Kathy, y'all? Girl, so Kyle was talking about how her and Kathy are in a much better place and how horrible it was for those years that they weren't speaking and how she's so glad that they've made up. And But girl, I feel like you're not where y'all think y'all, where you think y'all are. I'm just saying. I feel like you have made up with Kathy. I, I'm not. I'm not too sure that Kathy has made up with you. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to say because Kathy, Kathy, girl, <laughs> it's just I just cannot. I cannot. I need y'all to know how hard I was over here laughing at Kathy's ass. Oh gosh. Um. So then the ladies come down. Of course, Erica and Dorit, once again, are, are, are fighting for the best glam this season. They come down in these beautiful silk pajamas with heels and stuff, child. The rest of the ladies got on, like, sweaters and jeans and T-shirts and shorts. And, girl, <laughs> leggings, okay? Kyle is cooking dinner, even though they have a chef for the weekend. But Kyle's cooking dinner for them. She's having salmon and pasta and salad. And it looks like... Listen, that salmon look good, honey. That salmon looks so good, child. Crystal comes down and asks, can I help? Kyle was like, well, can you just make me a drink? She was like, do you know how to make margaritas? Crystal was like, yeah, I got this. I can make me a margarita. She was like, are you sure? She said, because I don't know how to make margaritas, and I'm married to a damn Mexican. Girl, Crystal made that margarita. Kyle tasted it. She said, ooh, this is good. I said, Crystal, you done messed up. Crystal, you done messed up. Girl, you done messed up. Um, so the ladies come down, you know, one at a time, and they, she said, Kyle says, well, we're gonna have, like, a little happy hour, and then, you know, we'll sit down for dinner. Now, I know I heard Kyle tell, because she had a lady helping her, not the chef that they said they had, but it looked like she had, like, a sous chef helping her. I heard her tell that sous chef 20 minutes. I thought the sous chef was gonna take the food out in 20 minutes. Girl, next thing you know, the, the smoke detector is going off. Kyle to burnt the damn salmon. Erica tried to be nice and was like, oh, I love smoked salmon. Erica tasted that damn salmon. She was like, yeah, this wasn't smoked salmon. This was just burnt fish. They tried to be polite. Child, they tried to be polite. And they tried to eat around that damn burnt ass salmon. Um, but I feel like they made a meal off of the pasta and the salad because it just wasn't no saving that salmon. It was, it wasn't like it was just on the edges. Like that salmon was burnt. There was no, there was no saving that salmon. Then they was clowning Kathy about getting her, um, getting Kyle and Garcelle mixed up. And how about they still ain't? talking about the elephant in the room, the obvious difference between Kyle and Garcelle, Kathy gonna say, well, she, well, I don't know how I got them mixed up. Kyle is so much shorter than her. Bitch, what? That's what you picked up on? That she's shorter? 
Not because she black. And that's your sister. It's not like it was two random people that you just met. It was your sister and a black woman. Y'all, Kathy, I can't. I just cannot with her. What am I going to do with Kathy? What am I going to do with Kathy? Oh, Lord. So, um, they're having a pleasant meal, you know. Y'all know how it is. It's the calm before the storm. Everybody's getting along. We found out that Kyle's nickname is Doogie. And Kathy can't explain where Doogie came from or why they call her Doogie. Um, it's 10 years between Kathy and Kyle. And she was like, well, Kyle didn't get on my nerves. She said it was, um, what's that other sister? She was the one that got on her nerves. She said Kyle wasn't the one. She said she was the one. And, of course, Lisa Renner had to bring up the fact that, you know, because you know her and the other sister, they had their moment. And she was like, well, yeah, you know, she, I could see why. Okay, you know, she was a little bully to me, too. Lisa, it's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about you. Sutton has gifts for everybody. Y'all know Sutton always has gifts for everybody. So she got everybody flask with their initials on the flask. Why Kathy going to say, well, what am I going to put in it? And they were like, anything you want. Kathy said, well, I guess I could put mouthwash in it or something. You gonna put my watch in your flask, Kathy? I mean, I'm gonna put something that has alcohol content in it in my flask. And you know, most mouthwash got alcohol in it, but it ain't gonna be mouthwash, man. Then Crystal talking about, yeah, I've never drank anything out of a flask before. I felt like it was a little judgment in that statement, Miss Crystal, but I'm gonna let you have it. I'm gonna let you have it. But I felt like there was a little judgment in that. Moving on. So then we had, um, after, you know, dinner, the ladies went downstairs to play, you know, to kind of talk a little bit, and they played two truths and a lie. It was cute. Crystal's was the best. Crystal said, I worked at an escort service. I, um, she said, I worked at an escort service. I was arrested. I've been arrested. And, man, what was the third one? It was good, though. All of them were good. It was, I worked at the escort service. I've been arrested, and... Damn, I came up, but the third one was good, too. The third one was along the same lines of something nefarious. So, everybody is looking at her like, girl, which one is the, the lie? The arrest was the lie. She said she had worked at the escort service between college and um, high school and college or one year, I think she said one summer um, from college to help her, you know, pay for college. She said, now I just answered the phones. I was the receptionist and I only did it for the summer. I wasn't part of the, the crew. Okay. She said, but I did grow up fast that summer, honey. I guess I bet you did. What was the other one? What the other one though? Damn, I'm, I'm going to remember later, but it was something nefarious that made you be like, Crystal, um, Kathy not understanding the rules or just fucking being Kathy, she she told three truths. She was like, fuck it. I'm just going to tell y'all three things about me. Is that what the game we're playing? I thought we were playing the get to know you game. I'm just supposed to tell you three things about me, right? Girl. I cannot. With Kathy Hilton. Like, I'm understanding Paris more and more by the day. Like, what the... Then... Um, then Erica's, Erica being Erica talking about one was, um, she wore a wire in a criminal investigation. One was, uh, they were all crazy stuff. And she wouldn't confirm which one was the lie or the truth. Tell my son, I'll tell y'all later. Well, girl, why bring it up? If you can't say it on camera, why bring it up, girl? Sutton, Sutton fooled all of them because she said she was a barista. She stole something before, and she was a virgin when she got married. The truth, and all of them said, girl, we don't, you not, you were never a barista. You never worked at Starbucks. Sutton was like, oh my gosh, but that's what, I, that's what it was. Like, why would y'all think I never worked at a Starbucks? 
She was like, I wasn't a virgin when I got married. I'm going to be honest. I thought that was one of the truths, too. The lie. Yeah, so I guess the... Listen, I... So anyway, they got done playing. Oh, it's been 20 minutes. I'm a, oh, Lord, this is about to be a long one because I ain't even got to the good stuff. Well, we're almost done, but this last little part. Um, So the ladies go to bed because they have to get up in the morning. Sutton, Kyle, and Crystal stay downstairs. Kyle going to ask. No, she didn't ask Sutton. She told Sutton. I mean, she told um Crystal to make her another drink. She asked nicely. She was like, make me a drink, Crystal. See, that's that Kyle shit. I told Crystal, I told you you made a mistake. I told you you made the mistake. Now, while this is going on upstairs, Garcelle goes to talk to Lisa because Sutton had told Garcelle, like, I think Lisa think y'all are good. And Garcelle was like, oh, well, that's her fault because we not. So she wanted to go talk to Lisa, and she was like, like, basically, it, you know, like, you think we're good, but we're not. And Lisa was like, but I thought we talked. She said, no, you talked at me. You never gave me a, 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 a opportunity to respond. You never gave me an opportunity to tell you how I felt. You came in hot. You told me you were wrong, and you apologized, and then you thought everything was good, but it wasn't. Um, and she told her, she said, it still don't sit right with me because I know that you and Denise were friends. And for you to sit here and act like you and Denise weren't friends, it makes me feel, it makes me look at you sideways because now I'm like, if you didn't consider Denise a good friend, then what the hell am I? And if you would do that to Denise, it's only a matter of time before I feel like you would do it to me. Lisa was like, she tried to once again justify the fact that she wasn't that, that good friends with Denise. And then she said, well, I can't promise you that I won't, you know, basically throw your ass under the bus. And of course, Garcelle had to give her the look like, well, damn. And Lisa was like, well, I mean, I'm being honest. Like, I can't promise you that it won't happen. And Garcelle was like, well, you know, trust is important to me. You know, trust is something that I've, that's been important to me. Something that, you know, it's a big deal to me. Like, I, I don't know if I can trust you. Um, but they agreed to kind of move forward and just take things slow. You know, I thought that was cool. Now, the interesting conversation was going on downstairs, though, because Sutton and Kyle started having a conversation about Garcelle and what was they said about the whole, you know, the black woman carrying the burden conversation as far as the money. And the minute Kyle said what happened, Crystal's face was like, like, oh, shit. And she asked Kyle, she said, well, do you regret saying it? And Kyle was like, I didn't until I talked to her and she explained to me, you know, the, that whole the stigma and and how that made her feel she said and then i did feel really bad she said but and sudden was like well i know that wasn't your intent but at least now you understand where garcelle went with it and then crystal started trying to talk about her experience she said yeah because stereotypes are hard and when people hit you with something that's a stereotype and before crystal could get into explaining what she was talking about Girl, girl, Sutton going to cut her off talking about, uh-uh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to make this about stereotypes and race. Crystal was like, but the fuck, that's what the, that's what we talking about. It is about race and stereotypes. That's what, that is literally what we're talking about. And Sutton was like, well, you don't think that, I mean, I get the stereotypes of people because, you know, of, of a redneck, you know, you don't think that how that makes me feel. And Crystal was like, tell me. Let's have the conversation. I want to know how it makes you feel. And see, Sutton, and so, girl, and then Crystal did, y'all, I was so here for this moment. Crystal looked at Sutton and said, don't tell me you're not one of those I don't see color people. Are you, are you a I don't see color person? Bitch. Sutton ain't know what to do with that. Sutton ain't know what to do with that. But I was so here for Crystal in that moment. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you for not letting her get off the hook. Because, see, here's part of the problem. Part of the reason why we can't move past it is because people don't want to have uncomfortable conversations. Here's the reality of it. Conversations about race are uncomfortable. And we have created such a, 
um, a politically correct society that people automatically assume that the minute you want to talk about race, then it's going to become a witch hunt or it's going to become an accusation when in all reality, sometimes we need to have the conversation so we can all put it out in the open so I understand you better, you understand me better, and we can move forward. Do I think that Kyle meant anything racial when she threw that jab at Garcelle? I absolutely don't. I didn't. I don't. Some of y'all might disagree with me, but I don't. But do I think that it hit just the same? Yes. Do I appreciate the fact that Garcelle explained it to her? I do. Now, what Kyle walked away from, I don't know. But I can appreciate the conversation. I was waiting to hear what Crystal had to say because as a black woman, I don't always see things from a perspective of where she's coming from and how stereotypes hit her because that's not my reality and that's not my walk. Just because we both minorities, we don't have the same experience. And I was waiting to hear what Crystal had to say and here comes Sutton as cutting her off. We don't want to talk about that. Well, I do. I was here for it. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Agree, disagree, how y'all feel. Anyway, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Peace.